Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I've seen a few people ask, um, just today actually, um, and I've seen in a few other videos, and some personal private messages that have been sent to me, um, concerning mainly Neo Geo, but um, this, this right here is, uh, people are concerned, they're deeply concerned. You know, they want to play Metal Slug, Samurai Showdown, and whatnot, and um, they want to see blood. They don't want to see this, this, this weird nonsense that, uh, you know, when you shoot people in Metal Slug, you know, it's, it's white stuff shooting out. It looks like sweat or milk. I don't know. Whatever the heck it is, though. But people don't want to see that. They want to see blood. That's why they play these games. They don't play these games for any other reason. Not for the, the enjoyment of it, not because of the, the artwork, not because of the difficulty, not because it's just a damn good game. Most games on Neo Geo are awesome. They don't play it for those reasons. They play it because they want to see blood. So boom, let's get blood going. Let's check out Metal Slug 2. We want to play Metal Slug 2 with some blood. So let this bad boy load up. Come on, come on, come on. No, why my capture and my whatnot? Whatever. We're in it. We're in it to win it. So let's let's take a look. Do we got blood in this bad boy? Let's go ahead and press start. Let's just get into the game. Whatever. This guy's good enough. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we got blood. Oh, these guys are they're full of water or something. As you can see, we don't have blood. No blood. <laughs> it's kind of comical when you really look at it. But you know, people they want to see blood. They don't want to. They don't want this nonsense. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna fix that? Boom! This is how we're gonna fix it. So we're in the the Neo Geo MVS system. Um, this is accessible in any uh, Neo Geo game and you could you could set up your dips your dip switches for that game um, so that's gonna be per game pretty much so what you wanna do is Neo Geo only uses four buttons A B C D now if you set up your layout like a Super Nintendo controller you have A you know is in the the bottom bottom right and then B's bottom left well, that's not the way the system takes it for Neo Geo. Typically, the A button will be the B button, and then the A button will be the B button, the X button will be C, or no, I mean the Y button will be C, the X button will be D. So, if you're essentially the way to, to navigate this menu is you're going to use your, on your control pad or your arcade stick, your B and Y button. B is going to go forward, Y is going to it's going to back out and you'll see like a little thing it'll say press C to do this the C button unless you have changed it I normally change it but just for the sake of simplicity here the C button is your Y button <laughs> and your A button is your B button so moving forward BAM set up soft dip that's what we want to do so you can set up your cabinet we'll go through some of this stuff but as you see it says push one player C button to menu so that's to back you out. Um, we're gonna hit the A button though to go in. So what's cool is all these games you can you can mess around with the settings of them, change how many lives you start out with. You could you could screw with your friends or you know if you want to challenge yourself you could turn continues off, um, boost up the difficulty. Um, yeah, you know put it put it all the way up to nine. Screw it. Um, but then the one the most important one. Is blood gotta have that blood so we're on blood blood is off we got the milk or the water whatever's coming out of these guys it's not good man not good a button boom or your B button blood is on now time to get bloody but here's the other thing I wanted to show you setting up your cabinet and some people have hit me up about this um, and I try explaining it because some people get confused. They'll hit player one coin 
boop, 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 boop. You're entering one coin and then you hit player two coin and you're like, why is it adding an extra credit instead of just one coin? It's because of the way the cabinet is set up. So a lot of the, the systems, the games or whatever, they'll be set up that player two inserts two coins and player one inserts one. But you can go in here and change that. Just hit the A button, get it back down to one. Game select only when credited, game start, compulsion, demo sound. So we're good on all that. So this is the soft, the soft dip. Now the hard dip, um, I guess I'm not 100% how you manipulate that. I haven't really messed with those, but it looks like you know you can change it to free play and, and, and whatnot, um, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's not really necessary unless this was a real arcade machine. So we really don't need to worry about that so much. Um, you can set up your calendar to make sure the time and everything's legit on here. Um, I, I don't care about none of that. The date is set correctly, but I don't, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. You, you don't really need to worry about that. Nobody, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of point to that, but it's not 100% necessary. Let's get back to it, though. Let's exit out of this. The game reboots when you do that, by the way, so you can't change it in the middle of game. It, it's it's going to reboot. Let's go ahead and put these coins in here. Bam, both players are, are putting in one coin. Go ahead and start. See if we got some some blood. See if we bloodified this game. Okay. Mission one. Start. I'm excited. Blood, look at that, look at that. Blood. Blood everywhere. Blood everywhere. Huh. Blood. <laughs> kind of comical either way if you put the blood on or, or leave it off it's just you know these guys just blow up into a pool of blood in the air just gushing blood everywhere but that's where it's at for you guys that uh that can't play a game without blood but i fully understand what is there a baby doing in here what's going on little fella huh So there you guys have it. I mean, this I just want to keep it a fairly short video. Um, but we'll go into one other game real quick. I want to keep it short, but uh, let's let's go into like a Samurai Showdown um, and check that out. See what the dip switches are in there. Let's go to Samurai Showdown 2, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. And I don't know if I mentioned it. How did I get into that menu? Did I mention how to get into that menu? No, I didn't, did I? Well, you need to hold down your player one start button if I didn't mention it already. Um, but that's how you do it. So blood is on. Blood is on on here. One coin versus off. Instruction on. You can, ch man, a lot, of, a lot of little options. Language English. We could change it to Spanish or English. Credit level on. Nice, nice. Set up the cabinet. Game select, demo sound. But yeah, that's how you do it. Hold down your player one start to access that. I'll go ahead and end it here. No point in going any further with that. Pretty simple stuff. Um, so yeah. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.